Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hamza. I read in class for Echo. Lesson number 13 The Weeping Princess 2. Asim ran straight up to his room. He was very excited. He opened the metal box and emptied the stamps onto the floor. With the album beside him, Asim began to sort out all the stamps. It was raining hard. Asim heard the front door bang and jumped up to look out the window. He saw Uncle Mike running towards his car. As he drove away, he looked up and waved. Asim smiled and waved back. Asim returned to his stamps. There were all kinds of stamps. Big ones, small ones, stamps with postmarks and some without. There were stamps with pictures of people's faces and some of birds and animals. There were stamps from England, Japan, Malaysia, China, USA, and many other countries. There were some stamps from countries that Asim had never even heard of. But he was not looking very carefully at the stamps because all he could think of was the weeping princess. When he had sorted the stamps into small piles on the floor he got some envelopes on each envelope he neatly wrote the name of a country and then put the stamps of that country into it the ones he did it now he put in a large front envelope. On it he wrote, asked Uncle Mike. At lunchtime, his father asked, How did you get on with your stamps this morning? Did you find any interesting ones oh yes replied asim there are lots of very interesting stamps in the box but no weeping princess i am going to look at the album after lunch there are lots of old envelopes at the back of the album. They have stamps on them. You will have to be careful when you take them off the envelopes, said Asim's father. Don't pull them off but leave them to soak in some water. Then they will come off easily and won't be damaged. After lunch, Asim went back to his room. The rain had stopped, but he did not feel like playing football. Anyway, the ground would be very wet because they sure had been quite heavy. Asim picked up the 
her album and turn the page slowly. Some of the pages were loose because the album was very old. On each page, there were about nine or ten stamps. Some page had only two or three stamps on them. Asim soon found out that this was because they were arranged in sets. One each page at the bottom in very neat writing. There was something written about the stamps. He wondered how long Uncle Mike had taken to collect so many stamps. When he had finished looking at the album, he took out the envelopes that were at the back. Most of them were old and faded. The addresses written in ink were really pale. Asim could only just read what they said. He could see that the envelopes were addressed to Master Michael Davidson. He wondered who he was. Many of the envelopes had Canadian stamps on them. Asim tried to read the postmarks. He suddenly had a brilliant idea. He went to his shelf and picked up the magnifying glass that his father had given him for his birthday. Now I will be able to see the stamps, the addresses and the postmarks quite clearly. He said to himself. He held up an envelope and looked through the magnifying glass. Toronto. He read that must be a Canadian village or town. He opened the envelope and found a letter in it. He took the letter out and dust as he was going to start reading it. He remembered that his parents had once said to him, Don't read other people's letter. He put the letter aside. There were letter in some of the other envelopes too. But Asim did not read those. He made a pile of letters on the floor and decided that he would give them to Uncle Mike when he saw him again. As Asim pulled out another letter, a few stamps fell on to the floor. He picked them up and looked at them. Suddenly, he leaped into the air shouting, 
the weeping princess. He looked carefully at the stamps in his hand and then looked at it again with the magnifying glass. Just then the door opened and his mother came into the room. Ask him, she said, Are you all right? I heard you shouting. Look, ma look mother said, Ask him, I think I have found the weeping princess. His mother examined, examined the stamps and said, I think you may be right. Perhaps Uncle Mike will be able to tell you. Asim raced out of the room, holding on to the stamp tightly. What's the matter? asked father. As he came stumbling down the stairs. Asim did not stop but shouted as he went past. I have found the princess. He ran straight out of the front door and down the road. His father shouted after him. Don't drop her and went back to reading the Sunday paper. Half an hour later, Asim and Uncle Mike arrived at the house in the old Austin. Asim was so excited that he did not wait. He ran into the house and told his father, It is the weeping princess. At least Uncle Mike thinks it is there is a tear on her cheek. His father laughed. Now just slow down. If Uncle Mike thinks it is the weeping princess, I am sure he is right. When Uncle Mike came into the room, everyone was smiling. Uncle Mike said, I have had this stamp for all these years and I never knew. Now that I have given the album to Asim, it belongs to him. I think that he should keep the stamps and I hope he find many more rare stamps. Asim was overjoyed. He stood there with a big smile on his face. With one hand, he held on to his mother and in the other he held a white envelope. In it was the weeping princess. Thanks.